Welcome to the coaching part of our channel, where we discover the art of coaching and empowering great salespeople. Today, we're going to explore the three fundamental areas that are of greatest importance for effective sales coaching. But before we jump into the world of sales, let's draw a parallel with sports coaching. Think about your favorite sports teams, the ones that consistently win. Have you ever wondered why they succeed? It's because they focus relentlessly on mastering the fundamentals, the core skills that their coaches help them develop. For instance, I remember accompanying my son to Clemson baseball camps where I saw the head coach, Coach Leggett, meticulously teaching shortstops, second baseman, and first baseman the moves and habits required for double plays. They practiced these routines over and over again, refining their timing and efficiency. Even the second baseman's position of his glove when he took the ball from the shortstop. In sports like baseball and football, there are key areas, pitch fielding, hitting, and running in baseball, and defense, offense, and special teams in football. These areas require fundamental step-by-step -step actions. Some of these actions, when performed correctly, are considered keystone habits. You might wonder, what's a keystone? And what is a keystone habit? In architecture, a keystone is a wedge-shaped stone that stabilizes an entire archway. In a figurative sense, a keystone is something that holds a process or system together, something on which everything else depends. Just like a keystone species in nature has a significant impact on its ecosystem, the removal of a keystone can lead to a cascade of negative consequences. Now let's shift our focus to sales and coaching salespeople. We'll explore the keystone habits within the three main coaching areas for professional sales leadership. These are sales planning, activity management, and face-to-face -face prospect and customer interaction. The first area we'll tackle is sales planning. Here we design the blueprint for sales achievement, encompassing sales and income goals, daily activity levels, closing percentages, prospect selection strategies, and more. The keystone habit within this area is helping reps identify their most motivating goal through a specific set of need development questions. Next up is activity management, which involves the daily actions within a sales plan, networking, prospecting, setting appointments, following up, and tracking important metrics. The keystone habit in this area is setting a consistent number of weekly first appointments, taking cancellations into account. All other activities depend on this habit. Lastly are the daily face-to-face -face interactions with prospects and customers. This is where the magic happens. The keystone habit here is listening. It's about actively listening to your prospects and customers, asking well-defined questions that help uncover their wants, needs, and problems. The remaining parts of the sales process, presentations, handling of prospects, questions, concerns, or fears, asking for a decision, and after the sale follow-up all depend upon this one face-to-face -face habit. In summary, we've covered the keystone habits within the three major areas of sales coaching. These habits act as the glue that holds the entire sales process together. If any of these keystones are missing or neglected, the consequences can be negative and accumulate over time, affecting closing averages, customer experience, and brand strength. Remember, coaching these keystone habits will set your sales team up for success in achieving outstanding sales goals, competitive strength, and a strong company brand. It's the key to motivating highly productive reps who create a long-term impact for your company, ensuring they focus on their personal goals while they engage with the right prospects and listen their way into successful sales. Until our next episode, always strive to be better and better. You can have the potential for greatness, so keep working towards it. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this video insightful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future content. We'll see you soon.